Howdy y'all, I'm around the wheel, you're watching Plumbier de Fromage. Today, we're gonna do what I think is probably the last actual level of the game. This one over to the right here is just the credits. Uh, now, unless that's an actual level, then then we've got two levels left. But uh, we're gonna go to the Star Road and play what I think is gonna be the last actual level. The game is getting... <laughs> it is really playing with the line of like acceptably hard versus intolerably hard for me personally maybe this is easy for someone else but this is this is harder than the than the brand of mario world i normally play so let's go check out the star road here ah yes dexter's laboratory who who doesn't want to be transported back to the world of cartoon cartoon dexter looking up at me like a g <laughs> hey there dexter man I remember back in the day, like 96, when Cartoon Network was just kind of getting its feet and they'd show the same episode of Dexter over and over and over with the dodgeball. Uh, man, for a long time that was the only episode of Dexter's Laboratory I saw and I saw it like a thousand times. Furui Kumi, what does that mean? I'm sure I'll look it up later or somebody will tell me and I'm probably saying it very badly. Furui Kumi. This is the last level, so this is probably where they're going to throw us the whole kitchen sink. Everything we got. Let's steal ourselves. Okay. Mentally braced. Ready? Let's go. Furui Kumi. This is the last level of Plombier du Fromage. Hey there, Dexter. Uh, I'm going to collect your eyes. They're mine now. Okay. So we're going to go in the cloud. I assume we touch this block to transition to the next thing. Okay, yeah. You just, you're supposed to drop and let it do its thing. Oh, okay. Okay, so can I catch the mushroom? Is it, is it worthwhile to do so? Okay, so yeah, I think maybe. Okay, so I caught the mushroom, so I caught the, no, I did not catch him the first time around. Okay, yeah, this is where, okay, yeah, this is where, it's going to get a little intense, I think. Okay, is this a death block right here? Oh, oh, it just jets me over to... Okay. Hmm, okay, am I going to have to take the hit then in this case? Aw, oh, man. Thanks for nothing, Muncher. Jeez. Oh, come on. Okay. Okay, yeah, this is going to get... This is going to get worse before it gets better, I bet. This is a very, uh... Okay, yeah, so I think I'm supposed to have to take that hit. Oh, shoot. Uh, okay, so I'm going to be speeding along the speedy train here. This sounds like... This is very Gran Turismo sounding music. Okay, so I think I'm supposed to take that hit. Okay. There we go. All right. I'm through there. Oh, shoot. Okay. So, yeah, so the black cement blocks or the black concrete, whatever... Looks very Yoshi's Islandy. Uh, yeah, I think I'm supposed to take that hit, but if there's a way that I can uh, avoid error, yeah, oh, wow, okay. Woo! Okay, yeah, it's gonna. I feel like maybe like. Okay, yeah. So I'm pretty much dead at this point. If I if I can't. I really feel like I'm in the car dealership in a, in a Gran Turismo game listening to this song. I wonder what it is otherwise, but okay. Alright, so still just running the gauntlet so far. Oh, wow. Yeah, just getting launched right into walls. Okay, this is this is, this is is the wild this is the wild Kaizo stuff right here. This is this is true well, I hesitate to say true Kaizo, but I, uh <laughs> yeah, let's just let's just point our little footsies right on that. Man, it is Okay. Okay, good. Keep it please. Thank you. Okay, yeah. So, me getting through this part is pretty much contingent on Oh wow, hey. Hit it on the first bounce that time, but then Okay, yeah. This is this might be Okay, this might be where I have to start using using save states like a big baby. Okay. But you know what? I'm a I'm a big man. I'm a grown man with a full-time job. If I got to use a save state here and there, I'm not going to stress too hard about it. Okay, I think 
I think that part right there, I think... I think I have to maintain the momentum to get over that big, giant death block hill. Okay, so... Okay, that's actually... Once you get used to that, it's pretty easy to do. To curve around and hit that other springy Yoshi egg. Okay, yeah. Did, okay, yeah, I haven't hit the... Yeah. I wonder if I can... I wonder if I can just, like... Well, this is going as slow as humanly possible. Yeah, that was a disaster. Okay. Yeah, I might have to... Hmm. Oh... Old Uncle Roundy might have to might have to start scumming it here. This is a uh, I can't imagine this level going too long. This is for all its hard stuff. For for all the massive difficulty it's presented at points, it has generally been an eminently fair hack. But now we're starting to introduce mechanical jank. It's very hard to actually manipulate myself over a lot of these things. And like, yeah, my hand is already cramping. I, I like just woke up and my hand is already cramping. Might as well hit the, man, just let me hit the death block. If I'm a, if I'm not big at that point. Oh, wow. Gee, thanks for the uh, momentum there, game. Yeah, okay. So like, yeah. Oh, wow, I thought I was going to touch Muncher right there. Okay. Yeah, if there's a way to get over those guys, I don't currently know it. Okay, I had something of a realization, and I'm going to try it. I made it past the turtles exactly one time big, but I think I can do that consistently because I have this little stop right here. Yes! Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm going to try one more thing. I think this might get me over the top here. Okay, so what I had done, I'm going to pause for a second here. I had gotten here small every time, thinking I had to force a hit through the second gauntlet of Koopa Troopas. And I got here small, and I could not get over this hill. And, okay, yeah, okay, so now I'm over the hill. Okay, here we go. Okay, so now I'm on what looks to be the second half. Okay, okay, so that's, uh, so now what am I looking at? Okay, so the brown blocks make me... Okay, so I had done a whole thing where I, like, actually gave up on this level. But then I was like, wait a minute. I probably need to tank a hit over the hill. And I was like... I was watching it in editing. Because I had just thoroughly given up on this level. And... I was like, I don't know how to do this. And then I was watching it. I was like, wait a minute. I can get past those Tupa Troopas. And I did it. I did do it. So... Alright, so let's go through here. Oh, oh, yeah, you don't want to hit that. Okay. Oh, but that's not the halfway point. Oh, but you go through a little gate and everything. Okay, so... Alright, so that's a bust right there. I thought that would be the halfway point of the level. I'm going to call it a halfway point of the level, because still asking someone to do this in one shot is pretty, pretty wacky, and I just forgot everything I learned. So, alright, so let's go ahead and... Uh, let me have my mushroom. Gah! Why must you be the way you are? Cannot believe I survived that, quite frankly. Holy cats. Okay, I think I can... Yeah, I was going to say, I have invincibility frames to get past it. But you need the hit anyway. Because, okay. There we go. Much easier that time. Okay, so. Alright. And, and then, wait. Wait it out. There you go. And then you get past it big. So then you come here. You get on top of the hill. And then there you go. Boom. Okay, we're going to set a save right there. Because that because you, you grow big going through the little yellow gate. It feels nice. It feels nice. It feels like a good halfway point. You should, uh, you should start right there, I think. Okay, so we're going to run down through here. And then not touch these things, if possible. Yes! Okay, so now... Now we're going along our happy way. Hold B. Okay. So are we on the auto part now? Uh, well, I still have to jump, I think. Hold B. Wait, wait. Hold B? Like, jump? Uh... Okay, so let me get, let me get there again. Okay. So let's see. Alright. Alright. Bop through here. Okay, this bit's... This bit's pretty easy once you... Okay, yeah, it is a little hard to... Okay. 
Ah, okay. <laughs> nice. Okay. Okay, now I stop holding B, I guess. Okay. There is a point. There does come a point when you have to stop holding B. Wait, so was I supposed to keep a hit there? I don't... Man, they should really give a halfway point at the little yellow gate. Because then the... Then the level starts firing on a different level. So I think at that point, they should, uh... They should give you a midpoint right there. That would certainly... That would certainly help with the kaizo a little. This part is really easy once you get it. What? Okay, there we go. Alright, let's do it again. Alright, and now... Now I gotta figure out the time to stop holding B, because there definitely is a... Okay... Okay, so one, two, three, and then kind of, yeah, I gotta, I gotta maintain a mushroom through there. So, one, two, three, slow down. Okay, so, oh, well, okay, so you can kind of beast mode through that. Okay, and then I can maybe, then I can maybe, at that point, spin jump off the spinies? I don't know. Oh, okay, that, I'm just supposed to do that, okay. Well, that makes a little sense. Okay, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> what? Okay, alright, so we're through there, I guess. So, I'm supposed to... Alright, so that kills him. So, I gotta get through this now. Okay, so these are like little slopes. Okay, I see. So, oh, we have a nice little spot here where I can, uh, where I can just hang out. I am kind of save scumming my way through this level, but I think that's okay. It is the last level, but like, I feel like I've kind of earned it at this point. Okay, so, ooh, ah, oh no, oh no, oh, oh shoot, no. Wow, the, the, <laughs> oh, go God, the jank is real, folks. Yo, okay, all right. Aw, oh, man. Oh, hey! That looks like some kind of ending spot right there. Alright, there we go. Okay, so what awaits now? Oh, this is part two of the gauntlet, then. Oh, jeez. Okay, so... This probably is where we get... Loving the Kirby music, so... So, I do I have to hold right all the way over? I don't know. Okay, so now I've made it here without a hit. Okay, I don't actually know how to extend myself over this. I'd feel a lot better if I, like... Wow, is there a... Am I doing something wrong here? Uh, just hold the button. No, don't hold the Y button, but, like... And if you hold nothing, it doesn't work. If you hold B, you almost get over it. Okay, I think at this point, like... Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Let's go, let's go backwards a little. And, like... Now if I now if I make it to that spot with a hit, I'm gonna just I'm just gonna make a save as soon as. Okay, yeah. Okay, so. No, no, I want the hit. All right, so take the hit and then right there as soon as I slide off, we're on part two. Okay, we're on the we're on the heavy lobster Kirby thing. Okay, so what awaits now? Okay, so I should have hit them, clearly. Okay, so Charlie, Charge and Chuck comes to... Okay, he comes to... Okay, got just gotta get onto him now. Using the momentum from this thing. There, we... No, I mean... Wait, D does it... Okay, I so I need to like not kill him. Okay, so, basically... Okay, that's a terrible little bit right there. It's like, it's it's massively unfair. Ah, oh, man, and I touch it... Or did I touch death blocks up there? I don't think I... I don't think I necessarily... I don't think I necessarily ate it because I killed the charge and chuck. Holy crap. But, uh, okay, yeah. This might be... This might be where my fingers really start cramping up. Ah, not quite enough. That's why he put two there, probably. I assume he. Why? Why do I assume that? That's that's my uh, that's my goblin brain assuming a guy made this. Jesus. Okay, so yeah, we got a we got a lot to learn here, but this part 
This part is cramped and not a lot of fun. Holy cow. Especially that bit. That's not a fun bit. But all these, uh, all these momentum-based shenanigans... Yeah, I touched death blocks right there. Okay, I see it now. Okay, moving on. To what? Uh, a place where it's really hard to actually jump and hit those blocks? Okay, so here... Okay, okay. So you, you kick the shell up to... Okay. Okay. That was, uh, that was quite the leap there, but, uh, okay, so we are starting from right here now. Okay, so, kick it up. Easy, easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Now, this part is gonna prove significantly tougher, because, once again, it's a momentum puzzle, and I hope to God I don't need to keep a hit for this. I then, but I, I think I, I'm getting the impression that I kind of might need to keep the hit here. Which sucks because I've already done saved past any opportunity of having a hit. The the part where it's hard to keep the hit is the part with the two blue turtles. Ooh, ooh, can you just uh can you just bounce over that? That that might be that might be worth investigating. If I can kinda like Well, but if I slow my jump any, I'll lose my momentum and I don't think I'll be able to yeah, see, I end up hitting, I end up hitting the wall part. That's, uh, that wrong, wrong slot there. Okay, so, yeah, I might have just, I might have just put a kink in my own slink doing it this way. Uh, this is, uh, this is bad news bears. Okay, so, so do I actually need to hit that part? Why has it got to be so high? Come on, man. I'm doing pretty well just to get this far. Like, give me some... Give me some credit, man. So, what if I hold right? Holding right doesn't do it. Holding left doesn't do it. Holding down doesn't do it. Holding... Okay, holding B. Okay, I, if I hold B at the beginning, but then I have to kind of... Okay, so let's try... Okay, so if I just hold B off certain bounces, I think... I want the death block to kill me there, so... Okay, I think just holding the B button is kind of the key. Okay, so... Okay, well, if it would let me bounce off the thing nicely, like a nicey, nice, nice. Okay, come on, Spiny, really? Is this really necessary? Are some of these bits really necessary? It's like, I did the hard thing. I did the thing you wanted me to do. Now, come on, like... Okay, yeah, come on, Spiny. Okay, yeah, like, holding just B there is a lot is a lot better so maybe so maybe i don't need to well yeah maybe i don't need to actually okay so all right so hold off of this well that just sends you careening into a wall but uh so yeah if i just hold b i might be able to get what i need can't always get what you want but sometimes you'll find you get what you need ha <laughs> ha okay so yeah, there is a way past that part, and it's just holding the B button, nothing else. Everything else is either not giving me the momentum I need, or is actively killing it. Okay, so... That was a little weird, but I do have a little bit of a... do have a little bit, just the tiniest bit of a breather spot there. So, okay. Boing, and... okay. Can I actually get away with that? No, I can't. Okay, so, yeah. It's just the little bittiest bit of a breather right there. So, <laughs> I actually caught up to the shell. I didn't realize you could do that. That's funny. Okay, so, all right, let's go. Let's get to it. All right. And, uh, 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 yo, okay. So, yeah, and then you have to, like, hit that shell perfectly, which is already jiggling around in its little hole, which is not a, uh... Not a great ask. Kind of a tall order. Okay. Yeah, so now I can do that consistently. And now we're here. Okay. Okay, don't touch the death blocks. I think I'm going to be expected to keep a hit for a while. Okay, and then up to... Alright, up over here. Wait, what? What? Okay, I got pretty far that time, but, uh, what, uh, what are we, what are we looking at now? That's kind of a, 
That's kind of a bit of the gauntlet. I think I can feel okay once I get to that point. Oops. All right, so I get up over here. So bounce off this thing. All right, this is a breather spot right here. This is a good place for a save. Let's do it. And then let's hit this and see what we were up against. Oh, that's like the end right there. Okay, so that right there is pretty much... Okay. There we go. Hit the nice spot. Okay, so there's still a little bit more at least. There we go. And then zoom and... There it is. There it is. That level was legitimately Kaizo because... <laughs> what is happening here? Okay. And then he... Goes up in the air and everything is fine. It's not a Kaizo trap. Everything is fine. Hi. Yay! Continuous. So, we did it. We did all eight exits. And there's a cut out there of this. At least currently. I pretty much delete everything as soon as I process it. So as not to take up space. But, uh, anything, anything different about the overworld now? Or did Dexter just say hi to us? Nothing different in that case. So, yeah. That was Furui Kumi. That was legit Kaizo. And we did it. My thumb is all sorts of whatnot now. But uh, let's go ahead and uh, roll those richly deserved credits. Roll that beautiful bean footage, Palmia. You did it! I sure did. You wasted your time. Particularly today. <laughs> Alright, so Palmier du Fromage. So... Created by Tiff for your amusement. I was duly amused. Uh, let's see. So, like, six pretty good... Six excellent to pretty good levels and one Kaizo level. <laughs> uh, take that meaning how you will. So, that was, that was not too bad. That was a lot of fun. I did enjoy myself all throughout, even during the hard parts. Well, except for the part where I nearly gave up on the Furukumi level. But then during editing I had a realization and I was just like I had to go back to it and be like there's there is a way there is a better way here and I found it I found the better way and I ended up persevering to the end I don't know how anybody is expected to do Furukumi in one shot Aw, thank you I I feel thanked for playing oh and press L and R to get back into the castle what? <laughs> really like what a weird like what a weird, like, if you're playing a Kaizo hack like this, you would know that you have to press L and R to get back into a castle. Like, what a what a weird little tip that they would give you there about that. So yeah, that this hack kind of runs the gamut from just standard pretty hard to, at the end, the last level, the special level, full-on Kaizo. But I do like that they give you an out where you can just ignore that entirely. But we've got ourselves an eight-star file, so let's take a look at that little. Uh, let's uh, let's reset it. I want to see the I want to see the eight-star or whatever it is, or if it just says eight or whatever. So yeah, eight exits. I have proof. I did it. I didn't do it the proud way, but I did do it. So that is it for the short little snack hack called Plombier de Fromage. Uh, next time, we're going to be doing something NES. Uh, another Redux kind of idea. I think y'all are really going to like it. it. It's a fun one. Uh, I think it's very interesting. It, it presents something old in a new light. Kind of like how Lemmings Redux did, except this is an NES game. I will see you guys uh, next time for that. Um, if I can unbend my fingers by then. <laughs>